celebrities by nature are a fairly competitive bunch. Slap a helmet on them, strap them into a car, put them on a racetrack and tell them to see who goes fastest. Well, you can't really script that stuff now, can you? That is what Speed Stars is all about. You thought season one was action packed. Let's check some highlights from season two. Season two had it all. There was bromance. His lips are so soft. <laughs> Look at that! That's it. Come on, guys! Stars taking to racing like ducks to water. Speed freak of note. How much fun was that? I think I'm addicted. I forgot everything they taught me, dude. <laughs> We're the super cool guys. Plenty of girl power. Chops, do you have a can opener? I'd like to open a can of whoop ass. Oh! <laughs> I would love to whoop his ass. Plenty of action on the track and off it. Uh, hey, my bad, my bad, my bad. Accelerator, brake, clutch. Accelerator, brake. So break. brake and he clutches on the left foot, all right? We taught our stars to be better drivers. Winning was something they took very seriously. Some found the limits, and others pushed past them. <laughs> we had international superstars going head to head. But most of all, we had fun. All right, skip on. Jason, you are a great guy. Don't touch my hair! <laughs> But Michelin decided to raise the stakes in season two by offering you, the public, a chance to take on SA's biggest stars. After a nationwide search, 16 hopefuls battled it out for the four public slots available on the show. In our season finale, two public entrants found themselves in the top six. But in the end, it was the voice winner, Richard Sturton, going head to head against our fastest qualifier, Sandro Godino, for top honors in what was a nail-biting final race. It doesn't get closer than this. 2 minutes 53.062 versus 2 minutes 53.438. The winner of the second season of Speed Stars is Sandro. Yeah. Well done, bro. Wow, what an intense final that was. And just like Jonathan Kaplan in season one, Sandro went in as the fastest qualifier and held his nerve to be crowned SA's speediest star. But he wasn't the only winner. This season's Predict the Winner competition saw two lucky fans join Michelin on a trip of a lifetime. Lazan Frey, our viewer winner, and Brian Anderton, our lucky reader. Unfortunately, due to a medical emergency, Sandro had to withdraw from the trip. So it was his son Ayrton, who had made the top 16 in our public search, who found himself in the driver's seat. And what a trip our winners had to look forward to. So it was all smiles as we departed O.R. Tambo, routing via Amsterdam and on to the home of Michelin, Clermont-Ferrand, in the Auvergne region of France. As one of the oldest cities in France, there was a lot to see and do. A visit to L'Aventure Michelin is a must. Opened in 2009, this 2,000 square meter facility immerses you in the company's incredible story. Dating back to 1889 when industrialist brothers Edouard and André Michelin started the company. Pioneers, free thinkers, the brothers understood that the future of the business was about more than just producing tires, but rather about creating mobility solutions. Road signs, route guides and maps, places to stay and eat, where to service your car and tires, we take for granted today. But this is what Michelin pioneered. And at the heart of it all, competition. The ultimate laboratory for the company. Their track to road philosophy, something our winners will get to appreciate firsthand on this trip. But it still all comes down to the tire. A visit to the tyre school, where our winners got to make their very own tyre, left them with a newfound appreciation of just how complex this process is. It's 
not just a little mole that you think it is, it's a lot more that goes into it. I didn't know how much um, Michelin is actually involved in mobility specifically and I learned a lot. All those tyre compounds and all the mixtures and the technology that they're using is really impressive. Yeah? Across the road from the museum and the Cattero factory is the Stade Marcel Michelin. It is home to one of the top French rugby sides and also a really well-known South African. So it was nearly one year ago that we were right here on the square in Clermont and met up with SA rugby legend Flip van der Maver. He had just started playing rugby for Clermont. Uh, Flip, how are things going? It's been one year. Are you loving life? Oui, c'est la vie en Clermont France, c'est très bon. Okay, and, and how's the rugby going? C'est bon, oui. Probably one of the best interviews I've ever done. Um, Flip, the, the Bulls, how do you think they're performing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, only, it's only fresh, I understood. Oh, it was great catching up with Flip again before we hopped on a plane and a train. Destination Belgium and the famous Zolder racetrack. Michelin had set up a track day and drive experience around their newly launched Pilot Sport 4S tyre. For our winners, they would get a taste of life as a racing driver. Once fully kitted, they had a medical to pass before a driver's briefing to outline the action-packed day's activities. And then it was to the track in the Renault Clio touring car. Purpose built for racing, the stripped out Clio weighs just 930 kilograms and with the race prep 1.6 turbo engine producing 150 kilowatts with a six speed sequential box and shot with Michelin slicks, it's really not hard to see why many a touring car champion has honed their skills racing these cars in the various one manufacture series run globally. Our winners were soaking up all the advice from the instructors and came out buzzing from the experience. The most important thing is, is to listen. If you listen to what he says, then there will be no hiccups. It's the first time I've ever been this close to a racetrack anyway. It's not easy, but uh, we had to learn and I think I did pretty well. well you got to know where your breaking points in and everything. Taking it from the outside in, learned a lot. From the thrill of the cup car to the challenge of a single seater. Formula 4 is the pathway for open wheel racing and a future for any driver in Formula 3 and Formula 1. Driving a single seater is just such a rush. Well, literally, with the wind buffeting your helmet, your butt just inches from the ground. And that super direct steering, and of course, being able to watch your wheels respond to your steering inputs. Okay, that's really move. Yes, Brian, they really do move. Now, power may not sound like very much, capped at 134 kilowatts from the 1.6 litre engine, but the Formula 4 weighs just 570 kilograms with aero and Michelin slicks. These cars really are quick. That's our very own Senna. Oh, that's amazing. A keen listener who impressed in the Clio, it was time for Lazan to experience the Zolder F1 circuit piloting a wings and slicks. You feel 100% connected to the car, 100% racing driver. With Michelin using the day as a platform to launch their new performance road tyre, the Pilot Sport 4S, for Lazan, Brian and Ayrton, who had just been on track, 
Michelin's track to road philosophy became a reality. They had the opportunity to test the new PS4s up against another well-known tyre brand on identical cars in three different tests, wet braking, dry braking and Gymkhana. The day ended with them back in the Clio race car, but this time as a passenger for a real hot lap experience. didn't know that they had so many other things besides tyres that they made as well and it was really interesting. Oh, I had a great experience, thank you to Michelin and thank you to Speed Sauce for bringing me along on this journey. Although my dad couldn't make it, I know you'd have fun Pop, I love you lots. I never realised how amazing tyres could be and seeing them perform to their full potential was awesome. Thanks to Michelin for a trip our Speed Stars winners will never forget. Definitely a better way forward.